Well, <clears throat> we're back. We are back in Canyon Duck. It's been a little while, and I am excited to work on our island layout. Let me show you where it's at right now. I've not really worked on this off camera other than just moving villager houses into the neighborhood there. And today I'm hoping, and this might be a little ambitious, but I'm hoping we can finalize it. That means we'll know where every staircase is gonna go. We'll know where every bridge is gonna go. We'll know where every building is gonna go. And uh, you know, we'll, th from there, if we can get this finalized, it'll be a matter of saving up the bells to pay all that stuff off and also just uh, decorating. Future streams will be decorating of the island, which should be a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> I did say streams, just worth noting. This was a live stream if you're watching it after the fact. Um, let me know your favorite Canyon Duck Villager out of everybody you see here. You might notice a new face or two. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on in the, uh, in the background here. So maybe it's time we, we catch you guys up a little bit. Yes, yes, there is so much news to cover and so little time to do it. So, uh, let's start here. I caught a tuna. Yes, if you, if you weren't around for it, it's because I wasn't streaming. I caught a tuna and then I continued using bait and I caught a barrel eye, which I, hadn't, I didn't have before, which was pretty cool. And then I continued using bait and I caught a blue marlin. So I caught these three fish on the same day, and it was pretty exciting. They are now in the museum where they will be, uh, you know, aimlessly swimming around for the rest of their dumb fish lives. Uh, and then I learned how to cook with the blue marlin, which is, you know, totally something one would do. I saw Tammy enjoying some vibes by the uh, river and noticed Tammy was wearing duck shouting a cloud. Duck yells a cloud. Uh, great, great sweater. So good choice there. Um, Rory gave me his photo. I finally have Rory's photo. Uh, so that happened. Reese and Cyrus moved in over by Harv's Island. We can now customize items much, much easier. Um, Captain grabbed some coffee. That is newsworthy. Uh, I, I got a recipe from Drake. And Hans was in the campsite. Yes. Hans now lives um, in the canyon. So with Hans moving in, someone had to move out. It was Frank. Everybody say bye to Frank. Bye, Frank. I, I wasn't really emotionally impacted by this at all. Uh, I got the new Festival reaction set. So I got some new reactions. And then my turnips. I had a bad turnip week. Uh, I ended up with a decreasing pattern. It was looking good. It was looking like it was going to be a large spike. And then I got kicked in the face. So I had to sell for what I could get. Lost some money there. Um, and then, you know, Sherb said some stuff. Uh <clears throat> You know, oh, I told Sherb I like gold, and uh, he said some stuff about that. Uh, Hans moved in. Flick came to visit today, which was awesome. Uh, I got another stretching goal. I only have 20 more before I get the last uh, stamp on that. I finally got the log fence. The log fence is now something I can use, which I've been waiting for for a long time. I really need that fence. Uh, so that was that was it. That was my day. Uh, several days. Uh, we got the log fence today, and I'm pretty happy about that because I needed it. I needed it really, really bad. So, there we go. Uh, still looking to get the rest of our crops filled out here. We're almost done with that. Uh, yeah. So, that's that's some stuff and some things going on. Now, I already did my big dailies today, although I hadn't um, bought anything from Nooks or Able Sisters yet. So, I figured we could start there. We'll just start and see what kind of things we could shop for. And then we gotta have some serious talks about like what the heck we're doing with the layout of the island. So that's what we're gonna do. I like that sweater in the window. We also should probably make us a new sweater. Is that a new haircut? It's a temporary haircut until I unlock my uh, preferred haircut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we have some interesting stuff here. <coughs> I saw a shooting star. Oh, that's good. Maybe I'll collect on those a bit later. Might as well grab us one of these. <laughs> one of these festival accessories. And should I get a mask too? Oh, you can only get one? That's 
at one at a time. All right. All right. Let's do that, and let's get a mask. And hello to everyone. Thanks for being here. I saw a new member. I don't want to lose that. Uh, it's Partial Marshall. Join the Billionaires Club. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your emotes. By the way, um, I don't know if I should say this. It should be fine. I'm looking into getting some new emotes. And it might be maybe next week, maybe, that we have them. So be on the lookout. If you're a member, uh, I'm, I'm updating the emotes. I'm very, very excited. They're going to look awesome. Kato said I better pay up the 40k. Oh my gosh. I will. If she ever add me as a friend. She's had every opportunity. But what am I supposed to do? I still have it on my island. Like separated from everything else. Laying on the ground. Tempting me every day. TGIF Duck Squad. Thank you for uh, Mika for being a member for eight months. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It is Friday. And yeah, you're right. You know what? You're right. Friday does only mean one thing. Fail. <laughs> Dan, Dan, you're so funny every time you talk. You really quack me up. I'm already doing hard mode. Is that not hard enough? He started a new island. The people named it Canyon Duck. Really seems like he's trying. Collecting a whole bunch of stuff. These puns, they have him crying. I mean, they are just really rough. And he's been doing hard mode. He thought he had it hard enough. Peekaboo, a duck's favorite game. Uh, Canyon Duck is the island's name. So many puns, it's unbelievable. Brace yourself, but tell me how you're feeling though. I had to throw in a rap verse like a Drake. Let me know when you're done, I can wait. Let me guess how many more puns Dan can take. No, please. Let me keep going, don't waddle away. What language does a duck speak? Portuguese. How does a duck surf the internet with web feet? Hey, that's foul. But what else could it be? We're all flocking to the canyon that refuse to see. Will the duck cross a road? He's been crossing for a minute. I quack myself up. I promise we're almost finished. It's just pun after pun. I know you're all singing it. Would you believe me if I said I was winging it? Okay, that's a good yeah. one. He started a new Quack. Now we're back. Now the stream can start. I forgot what we were doing, though. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we're going to look at some island layout stuff. So today I had the option of taking another house and putting it up here in this neighborhood. And I chose not to yet because I don't know if we're going to end up finding a good place for the museum and for Able Sisters. If we do, I would rather move one of those today than one of the houses. I feel like the houses, most of them are on the beaches anyway, so they can kind of wait. Uh, but moving the buildings, especially the museum, could be really good. I'm thinking of the museum going here. Um, on top of, of some recipes that I have and Kato's money that she won't take. So, yeah. It could it could go here. I'm thinking that would make sense. Because all the buildings are like on this main street area. You can move a house and a building in the same day. Oh, you can. You can move a store and a house. Finance is notwithstanding. Interesting. Hey, Bob Crossing. How's it going? Um, okay, cool. And Zena, I think you asked why I didn't give Kato this money uh, on Saturday. That's because uh, Kato was not using her hard mode character. So I didn't want to uh, confuse everything. And she should just add me as a friend already. Why Why should we have to, like, 
you know, figure all this stuff out, she could just add me as a friend, and then I can mail her the money. Oh, look, my money. Yeah, okay, there you are. Why won't you add me as a friend? You're telling everybody that I owe you money as if, like, I'm trying to hold it, withhold it. It's not even in my bank account. Like, I don't want it. I. It's just sitting out here in the cold. Take your money. I have. You're the one who didn't have the friends app. I have it now. And you won't... You won't uh, interact with me. <clears throat> instead... Instead, you would rather steal people's poll ideas. I broke my shovel for no reason. No reason. Send me the code right now. Let's resolve this. <sighs> Wait. What? So I have to let you in now? Oh my god. Alright. Fine. No, that's fine. I'm going to stop everything I'm doing for this. You froze her funds. <laughs> nope. We're, uh, we're no longer designing an island right now. I started a new island, but I put everything on pause for this money. All right. How do, what do I do again? Uh, visitors. Uh, online. Watch Kato not show up. That's what's going to happen. I bet you, Kato said, send me the code. And then she walked away. Like, all right, good. I ruined that person's live stream. And then she went to somebody else's to ruin that one, too. Um, I'm going to invite via Dodo code. And then I'm going to put up uh, this screen so no one else can see it. Okay. And then I'm going to have to open up another screen so I can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to invite anyone who has this code, just so there's no confusion. Wow, it's loud. Um, here, let me... There we go. Okay, so I have the code. I'm sending it now, and we'll see what happens. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, good. I got the code right. All right, perfect. We'll see. We'll see if this actually gets resolved. Waiting at the airport, axe in pocket. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get my money. <laughs> anyway, what I was doing before uh, our whole stream got, you know, completely interrupted by broken shovels and... and and people swindling people out of money. Uh, I was measuring for the museum, and it does look like we can put the museum... Oh, look at that! Look at that. It does look like we put the museum right here. <laughs> wow, she's fast. <laughs> this 40K is, uh, this is pretty serious business. Well, if it isn't Crisp Grandpa. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> uh, did I watch the new Denzel animation? Not yet. It's uh, it's a long one, so I'm uh, I'm planning on watching that when I have some extra time to sit down. I have not had any time to watch really anything of substance. Just that, that weird AI show on Twitch for a few minutes at a time. Don't expect another credit extension at her next auction. <laughs> I didn't ask for that. I was happy to take the L. This is not my fault. This is AJ's fault. Okay. At the very least, I hope Kato tries these recipes. Because they're also just taking up space like her stupid money. Do I leave extra for interest? No! I didn't ask for this. This is AJ's fault. AJ can pay the interest. <laughs> Any anyone confused about what's going on? A couple weeks ago, there was an auction on Kato's Island. Market, market day was, was uh, an auction. And I didn't have enough money for one of the items. 
And so I was about to just bow out and AJ's like, no, I'll help pay for it. And so it ended up after a whole bunch of like financial shenanigans lost, it ended up being uh, an extra 40K that I owed Kato and did not have on me at the time. Why are you pushing me? Stop. I came to help you. And there's me being nice. <laughs> That'll learn you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeez. What's with the violence? Please tell me you need those recipes. If you don't need them, I'm throwing them out. Because I figure if Kato doesn't need these recipes, then they must be really newbie. She's definitely behind everyone when it comes to hard mode, so if she doesn't need these, then nobody does. Here we go, there's one. I would get out a weapon as well, but I'm better than that. Proof Kato actually dives to make bells and doesn't scam at auctions? Yeah, what are you diving for? How is it even possible that you're diving? You got everyone's money last Saturday. She's taking the good ones to sell at her auction. Trans is, is, or, do you know it? What's going to happen? Oh, what's this? A toy duck? Oh, thank you. I got the better end of this deal, I think. Okay, well, I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, I guess I guess you can hang out if you want. Um, <laughs> I'll just be here measuring uh, <laughs> for, for all the building I'm going to do. I need to just throw these out. I hate having extra recipes. I might just toss those. Thank you for the toy duck. I appreciate it. There. Okay, is everyone happy now that the money situation has been settled? I should have probably kicked her because now I gotta like go and close the gate. <laughs> everyone content now? Can we can we go back to arranging the town? Thanks for my 40k in recipes. I'm going to scam someone with them. Someone someone take a screenshot of that, please. Do we have proof? I mean, we know, we got to we got to make sure we don't let that get message get lost to time here. Okay. Let's close the gate. Unless you guys want the dodo code. Too bad I forgot it. I got in trouble once today by the hard mode police. What did you do? Screenshot acquired. Oh, this image is going to be everywhere. This is going to make the, the nightly Animal Crossing news for sure. No, I can't. I can't put on Denzel's animation here. That's that's not right. I tried to have a little fun. What'd you do? You're not supposed to have fun in hard mode, Kato. Those are the rules. In fact, you know the rules very well. You made this graphic. It's it literally says all these words basically are are here to say no fun. What did you do? Wanted to upgrade my markets. You can't do that. You wanted to bundle the markets. That's cheating. You can't do that. No fun. What color toy duck did you get? Oh yeah, we gotta see. Let me let me get my shovel made here. Um, that's a stone tablet. Where's the duck? Oh, it's not cheating though. Oh look, it's a little black ducky. Yes, thank you. Yeah, it's not fun mode. We gotta craft us a shovel.
How do you bundle the items? Someone should make a fun mode. I'm doing it anyway. I'll ask for forgiveness later. I don't understand. How is this going to affect your markets? I go there a lot, so I, I feel like this is relevant to me. My storage is so full, guys. That's why I have all these snowflakes. I'm trying to I'm trying to like get some money back. What's this? Masquerade mask. All right. Sweet. I'm going to auction off two bookshelves, a tiny library, and a book as a library bundle. Oh, that's definitely cheating. I guess it's not cheating if you're going to subtract all those items from your ten items. Should I get rid of these recipes? I feel like this... Eh. These are all pretty, like, basic, I think. I'm going to get rid of them. I'm feeling bad about the seafood pizza one. I feel like that one might be a little more rare. I'm going to get rid of this mask, too. I'll never wear it. Yeah, it's not it's not cheating as long as you are subtracting from your overall item total of 10. So many fun suckers in here. I'm just trying to follow the rules. That's all I'm doing. I even I'm I'm such a stickler for rules. I even asked you to make me this graphic, if you remember, and I'm following it. I only go to a happy home once a week. If that. So, yeah. Got to got to follow them rules. I needed food too, and I forgot to get it. Kato just put mystery items in front of the bundle. <laughs> yeah, I think you could sell 10 items and then you could do like a scavenger hunt for the other items. And but only let the person who buys the the first part of the library bundle do the scavenger hunt. There's some interesting stuff in here today. I kind of want all this stuff even though I have no storage. Yeah, give me this. And this lamp? This is this lamp can go anywhere. It's such a good lamp. Who's a good lamp? And then there's this. Tool cart. Awesome item. Barrel, you think will sell well in the markets? I think so too. 20 nice branches? That's 10 more items than you're allowed to have. Did everyone just forget how hard mode works? Are we just are, are we just making our own rules now? You can just do whatever you want. I don't really... Well, I kind of want this. That's what you had? Oh, I thought you were accusing Angela. I had that many branches? I had... How many branches did I have? I had five. Okay, I guess I cheated too. I guess what we're doing is whatever we want. But the difference between myself and Kato is that if I cheat, I'll just be like, oops, I definitely cheated there, and I apologize. Kato's going to double down. I'll be honest, I'm going to double down too, because I'm definitely planning some other stuff for my market. That would involve items outside of the 10 items. What am I accused of? <laughs> Sorry, Angela, it was just, I, was, I got confused. You go ahead and accuse me of, of being confused. Do I have the present for Sherry? I do. All right, good. My inventory is getting so bad. So I have a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to like talk to you guys about. But we got we got into like this bickering thing. You're accusing me and you have plans. Well, I'm not I'm not coming at you anymore because I realize that I'm also I'm also guilty. So I think we're just in the same boat now. So I apologize for but we're both cheating. Like, you have to understand. It's now this is like a net we're in this together kind of thing. Anyway, so I have these snowflakes, right? There's there's 35 snowflakes here. These are all large. And these are supposed to be rare. But here's my problem. It is these that are rare. Because I don't go out and catch these. 
The only reason I have 40 is because I've made like a really, really big effort to getting these. Now, why I'm bringing this up is very simple, even though it involves some math. It's because everyone told me, hey, Dan, why don't you make, where are they? Why don't you make frozen arches? Because frozen arches sell for lots of money. Frozen arches require one large snowflake and 10 small snowflakes. 10. So I can make four of these. And now for efficiency's sake, for, for not having to craft all day, that's great news. However, I'm not going to catch that many more snowflakes. And it's clear to me because the way the products work on this page is that anything you, you put into the item, you get back double. So if let's say a large snowflake is worth 100 bells on its own. If you craft it into something, it becomes worth 200 bells. And that's how all these recipes work. So if I want to offload some large snowflakes, it actually makes more sense to make smaller items like the, the frozen chair or maybe the pillar or even the frozen snack set, which go is it only takes um, one of each. If I do this, I can actually make more money faster because I will also eat through more of my large snowflake supply. So I'm I'm considering all these things because I really want to get through some large snowflakes. I think we can make a lot of money. I don't really want to save them into next season. I don't care about them that much. It's worth selling more counters because they sell for a little bit less than 2k. It takes five snowflakes. It's worth selling the counters because they sell for a little bit less. Like 2k. Business class with Dan. Was there a question here? No, it was it wasn't I wasn't asking you a question. I was just saying everybody was telling me to make the arch and I just went, "Okay, yeah, that sounds good." But I'm just letting you guys know. I think the hot item today is I don't know, I didn't check. Um, I'm just letting you guys know if you're like me and you have all these large snowflakes and they're taking up space, then it's better to make the small stuff because you're going to get the bells back either way. All the items are worth whatever you put into them. It's not like um, the arch is worth X and the frozen treat says worth X and, you know, the arch is worth more because of labor or something. No, it's, it only is value. Like the value of the item is only dependent on the items you put into it. So that's, that's the thing. Um, so I was going to craft some of these, I don't know, maybe these because it'll use two snowflakes and that'll be a little less crafting. Do it for science. So I think by the end of this crafting endeavor, I'll actually have a lot more bells because I'll be able to use more large snowflakes. It is quackers. It absolutely is. Yeah, if it had bulk crafting, I wouldn't have needed, needed to go through any of that with you. Whatever your little crossing heart desires. Well, I'm definitely not asking for permission. I wanted to see if anyone pushed back on it for like a reason I wasn't thinking about. But I've been giving this a lot of thought if you couldn't tell. Like I've been building this case against myself for quite some time. You're gonna make a fortune selling popsicles. <laughs> we need a van. I need something to sell popsicles out of. Food items won't sell for as much then. I don't know exactly how it works with food items. I assume it's kind of the same though. If something takes two potatoes to make, it's like selling four potatoes because it should double the value of the items you put into it. But I haven't tested that with food. I've definitely seen it with um, regular crafting recipes though. I missed it. Are you cheating again? No, I don't want to explain all that again. Oh my goodness. All I'm doing, I was I was talking about how I was cheating myself by making only the, the big frozen arches. But I wasn't using enough large snowflakes, and they're taking up room in my inventory, but they're worth quite a bit of money, and I want to get rid of them. And also, I'm very poor. I keep using my money on trivial crap, like inviting people to Harv's and moving other people's houses, and, and then, of course, giving it to scammers like you. So, it, you know, what am I supposed to do? 12k for that uh, is that the, that's the blue marlin fish uh, food fish food it should sell for way more than that if that's if it takes a blue marlin 
Okay, we've done we've done some good work here. Let's go out. You need to upgrade your own house? Yeah. I would love to. I would love to. But I'm poor. Because I keep doing other stuff. Just got here. Did I miss anything? Not really, Becca. Uh, we're working on making some money right now. And I'm thinking about moving the museum. Pretty sure I'm gonna. I'm also allowing myself to just kind of get really distracted. Giant vine! I can probably make at least one of those. Get a loan from Kato. I won't be doing that. You saw how that went last time. Does cooked food count as something crafted and can therefore be used to sell all these fish indirectly? Yeah, as long as the fish obviously is in, in the recipe. I, I did that to make some money. I sold um, a ton of food. But it wasn't fish. I, I sold... Um, I, I made like uh, baked potatoes and stuff. Oh, you're poor that changes things for the market. What do you mean? Oh, look at that. Over 100k. Yes. You can sell cooked food and it's basically crafted. Yeah, you can cook food. It's a really great way to make money in hard mode. That's why I made my farm so big. Because if I sell the crops outright, you know, there's rules against that. But if you turn them into food, then you can just do whatever you want. So that's why I made such a big farm and, and let that take up like half my map. Look at this thing. Like, I'm basically rich already. I just have to start like harvesting it. But my inventory has been so full Not so poor anymore. I'm hoping we can pay off a loan today, but that might be a lot more crafting than I'm anticipating. But look at that. We went through most of our small snowflakes here. I just gotta make a few more. Did you make those paths? I did. I used a lot of guides, but I did it. I'm gonna put them, eventually I'm gonna put them up for you guys to download if you wanted them for those of you not playing hard mode. But first, I'm, I need to finish the set. There's a few more things I want to make. I've, I keep seeing online, I keep seeing all this different inspiration for different, like, orientations for this path. So, how much did one sell for? Let's test it. I'm going to, I'll do, I'll make one and we'll see how much it sells for. Or I'll, I'll sell one alone first. And then hopefully we can put like a chunk of money on our loan. I, I did put a little bit on it, so we only have 600000 left on this current loan. And with all the snowflakes and stuff, I think we could... I think we could like... You know. Yeah, maybe I should make a giant vine too. I don't know if I have the patience for hard mode. You can do it, Fiona. It's it's really fun. You just you just take it slow, you know, you chill out. That's all it really is designed to do. It's kind of slow you down. Yeah, hard mode is a set of rules. These rules. They're linked down below if you want to see them in more detail. Um, because I'm not keeping them up very long. Alright, so frozen mini snow person. Let's see how much one of these is worth. 69.60. Yes. Look at that. I didn't know it was those kind of snow people. Well, now I'm definitely going to sell more. Oh, yeah. Twenty thousand. Okay. Great, so now we have 300K, so that's half my home loan right there. All from crafting some snow people. And now if I'm really smart, I will go for the frozen treat set next time I do that so that I can conserve more of my large snowflakes and make them go farther. Why do you have the music just ready to go? You just never know. 
you know, I have a lot of I have a lot of emergency uh, preparation done here. Uh, you just never know what kind of situation you're going to get into. All right. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, paying off my loan. Uh, deposit. Here we go. Should I not spend all my money right now? We do have some other things we need to do. <laughs> Maybe I'll spend two hundred for now. We'll we'll come back. Oh, that's my savings account. Okay, fine. Okay, that's that's four hundred left. We'll keep some we'll keep some uh, money in our pocket. And then food. I needed to get food, and we got to get this gift to Sherry. I'm trying to get Sherry's photo. Also, I've been I've been cursing Sherry as well. Uh, whenever I get the chance, I go to Katrina. Excuse me. I go to Katrina and I ask her to curse Sherry and trick her into being my friend. So I think I'm pretty close to photo level of friendship with Sherry. I don't even think I have food inside. Let's just go like shake a coconut tree or something. Mermaid stuff might make good money because the pearls. Yeah, I just never have enough shells. I'm so lazy about getting shells. Okay, now I can smash this rock. Can you put a spell on Sherry to potty train her? Oh, be nice to Sherry. I'm already putting spells left and right. We don't need to also embarrass her. Perfect. So the museum could go here. And I don't think that would look too bad. Honestly. How many spaces away from the path? I think so far I've put everything two spaces away from the path. Yeah. So let's move the museum... Also two spaces away from the path. Maybe more. Should I do some more so we can like put some junk in front of it? Or do you think two's enough? Oh man, I gotta think about this. Crafting Snowflakes has paid all my bills. See? It's true. Elegant and rare mushroom stuff around 16,000 if you're playing in fall. Oh, that's a good uh, that's a good call out there. I'm definitely not, but uh, yeah, that'd be great. Layout changes. We're gonna mu move the museum, which is only ten grand. Do I plan on kicking Sherry eventually? But I have to get the photo first. The rules say I have to get the photo before Sherry can leave. I don't think we need that much space between the museum and the path. We might just go for the two. Because what am I really going to put out there? Like, really? You know what I mean? So let's see. That'd be one. And then I, if I stand here, that should be good enough. Build here. Okay, let's imagine it. Is this a good spot? I don't know. You tell me. Is it a good spot? I, yes, right? It is. We still have adequate room around the museum, too, to put fences and stuff. This is a good spot. This is a good spot. It looks right. Yeah, it looks right. Okay, cool. Ten grand, well spent. Excellent. So the museum moves tomorrow. And you're saying I can also move a house today? I would love to continue moving houses because it's going to take me a long time to get everybody in that neighborhood. 
Would you rather decorate in front or behind it? You bring up a really good point. Um, I wish I had read that message just two minutes ago. But I think decorating behind it with some trees and stuff is probably fine. I'm not super worried about it. What do you guys think? Do we think we made a mistake? I don't think so. Even if I did, it's really easy to move it again because there's a ton of space back here. I could stand right here and move it without having to move it twice. Oh yeah, we could put like some dinosaurs back there. You're right. We can like have the really, really tall ones popping over the building. I know that you can move a house and build an incline and a bridge. Yeah, I think that too. Like, or I know that for sure. I've done that, but I've never moved a museum and a house. But have I ever needed to? Like, let's see what he said. He's probably like, oh, yeah, we're already doing a lot, so can you not? Okay, infrastructure. I want layout changes. Yep, his paws are full. Okay, that's fine. So we'll do later, we'll probably set up maybe a bridge or an incline. And that'll be, like, an efficient use of our you know, moving abilities. Who's my favorite character? Me! I'm my favorite character. I'm the one doing all the work. It's absolutely me, 100%. I'm going to get rid of these shrubs. Well, I'm not going to get rid of them, but I have to get them out of the way. I wish I could tell the people that I work with, oh yeah, I'm already doing a lot, so can you not? You could tell them that. It's all about setting boundaries. You know? If if you're already doing a lot and people are putting more on your plate, don't be afraid to tell them that you're, you know, you don't have the bandwidth right now. That's a totally normal thing to do. Okay, best villager. Me, I live here too. What the heck? Am I being attacked right now? Hey. It's it's me. I'm the best villager. I have all the money. I'm moving all the mountains. I'm spreading out all the paths. I have to protect these imbeciles from from chat. Everyone calling them pee hands and stuff. I definitely deserve it, okay? It's all about knowing your value. All right, it's, there's no shame in that. Just Dan. Wow, Tammy. I'm just Dan. That is so rude. I can't believe... You of all people, we've been through so much. Remember that time? You know. That's just so such a mean thing to say. Unbelievable. Just Dan. That's gonna... You, you know what you just did? You just set my tombstone up for me. That's what you just did. There's nothing like everyone's gonna remember. What did we? What are we gonna say about this guy? I don't know. One time I heard him referred to as "That's just Dan," and the tombstone people will be like, "Good enough." That's what you've just done to me. You've, you've just cemented me in history as just Dan. So rude. I don't go to other people's houses and write their tombstones. I was trying to move these trees, but apparently I can't do that right now. Just Dan shrug emoji. That's what's, yes, that's what we're talking about right now. That's my tombstone. Just Dan, uh. Where's the, where's the building menu? If you're not Just Dan, who are you? I mean, no, it's not a bad point. I just wanted to try and be known for more before everyone in the community just decided for me. I thought maybe maybe Goldcore guy wouldn't have been such a bad thing to have. Just Dan. That's what I got after all this work. Just dance. I want... Yeah, can you do me a favor, uh, Alpha? When, when the time comes to, to have my tombstone chiseled up, could you please, like, sneak in there overnight and add a CE for me? At least that'll be, like, a little bit funnier. I think it'll be a little bit better than what I'm currently working with. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. At least somebody here 
has my back. Uh, just Dan, I hate to break this to you. My hubby does call you that guy that sounds like Zach Scott Gaines. <laughs> I I'm not allowed to sound like me. I have to. It has to be somebody else. So I can't put shrubs on the beach, which is stupid. Mr. Ranty. I would take that. I would absolutely take that. I'm going to plant these shrubs on this path in, in everybody's way. Because I just... I just got to get these out of my way. Do I have a pet? Yeah, I have a pet jerk. Rudest pet ever. Pulls all my cables. Ends my live streams. Terrible. Planting these shrubs is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Favorite duck villager? Probably Joey. You know, because of the diaper. I relate to that. I think a lot of streamers would relate to that, though, to be fair. <laughs> this is a lot of shrubs. I should use these in some kind of build. Sounds like your pet jerk is living their best kitty life. I guess. Crimson, has it going? Rose, has it going? I want a pet jerk. <laughs> You do not. Hey, Neptune. Trust me. Awful creatures. Super unappreciative. I can pick up this whole tree. Wow. Can I pick up this one? Smash. No, I cannot. What's your pet jerk nicknamed? Or named? Um, that would be... Jerky McJerkface. That's an easy one. Do you see Sherry up in the corner, like, really super happy? Do you think Sherry is happy enough to give me her photo? It'll be her undoing. She doesn't need to know that. Oh, Rory's pretty happy, too. Professor Snarky Paws. Yes. PhD. Esquire. Uh, let me just chat real quick. Whatever genius made it easier to climb up a cliff that deserves a medal or something. The view up there seriously rocks too. I'm going to go up there and watch every sunset I can. You're already on like the tallest cliff. What are you talking about? Do I have any photos yet? I got Rory's photo, but I don't have Sherry's photo. But maybe this will be it. Let's see. Your cat and I have the same degree. <laughs> All right, Sherry. Photo, 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 photo. Ah, uh, crap. Pajama dress. Did you rescue Pet Jerk from a free-roaming Pet Jerk face... Pet Jerk Jerky face farm? Maybe? I don't know. That was a lot. That was... There was a lot of... A lot of words there. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna say... I don't know. Possibly. I didn't vet the place that well. Now you gotta wear it. Um, no, I have to. You know what I have to do is actually I need to wear like another custom sweater that I have not made yet. I'm actually overdue for making myself a new outfit. But what am I supposed to do now? I've made so many. I don't know what to do. Professor Snarky Paws is cute. Am I going to make a waterfall? I am going to make a waterfall. How'd you know? I'm just trying to decide how far I want the cliff to come out. Before, like, if I want a waterfall, do you think I want a pond too? I think I might want a pond. And then it can spill into the waterfall. Like, if I make a pond, let's see. So that's two from the path. 
Here's three. Four. Okay, so between the path and the waterfall, I'd have like, yeah, like five tiles to work with. That doesn't seem too bad. It's a lot of terraforming, though. Let's see. Do I play any instruments? I'm, I define instrument. I think, let's see, how far do I want this to come out? Oh, that's not too bad because we already have some cliff over here. So yeah, this will work. Oh, the duck pond. I did want to do a duck pond. I think the duck pond needs a much larger area though. I just make a few closed designs and alternate between them. Uh, that's that's within the rules. I could just do that. I might, because I really want to work on the island today. Maybe we make a new shirt tomorrow. Let's do that. Let's just let's go get something else. Um, I'm gonna wear the the Canyon Duck hoodie, the original, original design. Gracie, how's it going? Terraforming worth it. What you've done so far is beautiful. And I visited the Grand Canyon recently. Well, well, thank you, Mary. I will, I will take that into consideration then. So you're, you're comparing my island in Animal Crossing to the Grand Canyon. That's, that's a pretty high bar. Uh, it makes me feel pretty good. Um, you can change the color of the shirt and call it a day. <laughs> uh, what, where? Okay, I need to get my duck pond diagram. A bunch of people sent me this. Uh, let me go find it real quick. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. I found one of the diagrams. Let me let me see if I can show it to you guys. I think if I hit this button. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Hold on. I see a balloon. I want to thank AJ for sending me this. Kind of makes up for the really uh, big scammy situation she put me in. Oh, falling snow wall. I already have it. Um, so what I need then is... I need to count out what this duck pond is going to take to build. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. This is like the way you like measure it out, basically. I assume we dig all those spots with like with a water tool and then empty out the middle of it. So what we're working with is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles for the outside border of the pond. For that's north to south. And then I'll count the I'll count the other ones in a second. So eight tiles. So I'm gonna need some extra ones for a buffer. And then also what happens to the waterfall? Because if we, we can have the, the belly of the duck centered with the waterfall, but it would still look like a duck. Do you know what I mean? Like if I, if I open up, see the, at the, the very bottom row there, if it opens up into a waterfall, will people still see that it's a duck? What do you think? Should I do it? I should do it. We should just try it. Because we can always just turn it into a regular pond if it doesn't work. Which I wanted anyway. Alright. Let's count out eight tiles from the path. So we already got five, right? Okay. Six. Seven. Eight, and we'll do a ninth one, and that'll get us a little uh, like a tile buffer between the path and the duck head. All right, I'm doing it. 
fry it. Yeah, there's gonna be some snowflakes that I'm considering catching, but I'm not going to, even though it's very tempting. Popping in to say hi, can't stay. All right, Nintendo Zen, well, thanks for popping in to say hi. Appreciate you. Uh, for our members, by the way, uh, I, I forgot to mention this earlier, but uh, we did yet another Animal Crossing New Leaf live stream. That was yesterday. Uh, so if you are a member, that stream is available to you um, on the channel. So far, the last uh, couple Thursdays we've done those. So uh, I'm hoping to make the Thursday evening New Leaf stream for members a regular thing. We'll see what happens. Um, I think I can do it. Oh, that's all right, original man. I'm sorry. Hopefully you start feeling better soon. Uh, let's eat this. And let's smash this. We might as well just take out this next rock, too, because I can tell you it's already in the way. Walked into HHP and there's a rubber duck sitting on the counter. What? Okay, this is pretty good what we got here. My niece walked in, saw who I was watching, and was sad that the duck song wasn't playing. I've been abandoned with no snuggles from her. <laughs> well, I'm I'm sorry. Not not everything, you know, can be a duck song. It's a it's a really valuable lesson I think for youngsters to learn. Not not everything in life is a duck song. Sometimes you have to do the hard work. Sometimes you gotta get out your shovel and terraform an entire island for your unappreciative villagers who won't take notice or give any input or feedback whatsoever. So if they hate it, they'll just kind of sit there and seethe and they'll never tell you. And I hate that about them. I like I wish they would just be honest with me. This is an amazing lesson. Thank you for teaching little ones. You know, it's, it's service I do for the community. It's uh that's what I'm here for. Sculpting young minds. That's what they that's what they task me with doing. Definitely. Someone would definitely trust me with that kind of thing. You know, it's it's not an easy job, but I make it easy by being really bad at it. And, and not studying or uh, doing anything to make sure that I'm, I'm not doing a bad job. Just kind of kind of going with the flow, you know? Oh, oops. If you want uh, some more Duck Song, or, or more music like it, by the way, Composer Cleo made the song. Uh, linked down below. You can go over, check out their channel, check out their library of songs. They've done a lot of music in the Animal Crossing community. Marcel, if I'm saying your name right, sorry. Uh, how are you? Is it on Spotify? I don't know yet. Uh, I think that was the plan, but I don't know how that all works. It's uh, That is up to Cleo uh, if and when it ends up there. I hope it's on there soon. Uh, I know uh, Cleo's other music is also on YouTube music as well. So if you don't have Spotify, but you have YouTube premium, you could listen to it there. Hopefully it ends up on YouTube music and Spotify. I use YouTube music, so I'd like to have it on there. Marshall. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Marsh uh, that makes more sense now that I'm reading it again. <laughs> sorry about that. I need to get rid of these shrubs too, but let's just let's just worry about the immediate problem at hand, which is our duck pond. How long are we going for? I, I'm not sure. As long as it takes. Or until my eyes give out. I can't look at the screen anymore. Probably until then. Using you for body doubling. Hopefully I finish my terraforming before you do. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> 
you probably will. I'm going to be like going back and forth between making this mountain and then my duck pond and then probably going back to making more mountains until I'm all quacked out. Yeah. So I've all, it's all quacked up. Totally get the screen thing lately. I've been sitting in front of this computer literally all day. I'm ready to not, but I also am very ready to play some hard mode, so I'll, I'll make this sacrifice. Um, speaking of streaming and sitting at the computer, also going to be live tomorrow, but it's going to be an earlier one. And then Sunday's market day, so I guess we'll be live on Sunday as well. I'm trying to prepare, not for not for this Sunday, but in upcoming Sunday, I'm trying to prepare like a fun game or something to do on market day, so it's a little more interesting, mostly for me. Not that market day isn't fun or anything, I just want to like, I want to crank it up a notch, so I have some thoughts, I have some feelings, I have some ideas. Be on the lookout. All the Canyon Duck content this weekend, that is right. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this duck um, pond is I'm going to start with the four tiles that can, that intersect with the river and turn into a waterfall. So that's going to be right here. This is like the belly of the duck. All right, so boom, duck belly. Duck belly spilling out into a uh, canal. And then... Um, this is the diagram I'm following, so we need to go, like, we're already doing it wrong. I'm already really bad at this. We need to go here, and I believe here, and then we gotta go here, go up one more, and then we'll start to come in like this, and then we'll come over here, and we got five tiles we need to go. One... Two, three, four. Ah! Four, and then five. Which Animal Crossing is the best? Oh, this one for sure. But there's reasons to like the other ones too. Then this one is three. And then we pop out one. We go here. One, two, and then we come in one tile we go three down one two three and then we come one tile in boom i followed the diagram and there we go now i just gotta like get the finished product and i'm not going to show you that because i want you to be amazed i want you to think that i i came up with the rest of this So to do this, I need to give myself a way out first. Let's let's make that this tile right here. So this is the one, this is the last one I'm gonna do. Okay. So let's start back, not there. Can you go in the water? In the ocean you can, you cannot in the river though. Okay, there's that. All right. I'm not doing such a good job. Because I keep chipping away at stuff I didn't want to chip away at. All right. Uh, yeah, it's literally just a matter of emptying this out within the bounds of the uh, duck drawing that we did. I think I think all the details actually happen on like the outside edges. So I'll just I'll worry about that in a bit. I don't know who first came up with this duck pond idea and shared it, where they shared it first, but I want to thank them because this is a pretty cool design. I'm excited to see it all done. $30 
The river almost acts like its legs. It's kind of cool. Oops. That's fine. We can do this. No, we can do this. There we go. All right, almost there. There we go. All right. Okay, boom. So that is the primary structure done. Now all we have to do is strategically angle certain parts. So the first one's here. All right, and then there's, oh, it's the, the little waterfall kind of messed this up on us. We can't really do it exactly. No, wait, that would have to widen the river. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a change. We're gonna we're gonna bring this mountain out one more because I want this to look good and uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I was not expecting to have to like come out this far with this cliff. I thought for certain there would be um, <laughs> I thought for certain there would be more space between this cliff that I just built out and the canal. But I think it'll be worth it. I really hope it'll be worth it. Maybe I should have put the duck pond somewhere else. I'm starting to worry that we made a bad call. Did we make a bad call? Should the duck pond go somewhere else? What else was I gonna put along this canal? Let's ask that question. Like, what am I really hoping could go along this canal? Why can't it be a cliff? I think we did the right thing. I think we're, no, I think this is a good spot. We'll do, we'll do it and it'll be fine. Okay. It's not letting me do this because of the stupid, oh, all right, hold on. What a disaster. You think you should put it in the middle of the island? I wanted to put the campsite in the middle of the island, I think. I wanted to build a little area that was, um, where the campsite would go. What is that? Oh, it's a balloon. Do you think it'll fall in the duck pond? Yep. Yes, it will. It elevates the villager neighborhood. But did I... Did I put it in the right spot, though? Do I want to elevate the villager neighborhood, or should I elevate something else? I'm worried that I've I've made a mistake. Like the long-term ramifications of this, like I could really limit my island in a lot of ways because of this pond. I'm worried about it. The pond is fine. I don't, is it though? I just don't, I don't know guys. This seems, it seems like I've, I've plucked up pretty bad. I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just letting you know. There's a good chance I pluck this up. Anyway, so yeah, that's another angle, and then we gotta we gotta angle it here. I guess I need more cliff. Alright, and we gotta pull this cliff out here. Use a vine. I could do that. I could also build the the stationary ladders. But also I'm lazy. Is the thing. Completely install it. We can decide later. You know once I finish this, it's not going anywhere. Remember the part where I said I'm lazy? Alright, so we do that. And then we do this. Mm -hmm. Wait, that doesn't look right. Hmm? I messed something up. Something's wrong. 
Something is wrong. Is that it? No. How did this get messed up? What do I do? It is not fine. I messed it up. I think... I think that was it? No. Although that works, but it's not the same illusion. Uh, crud. Okay, I'll show you. I'm just going to show you the diagram. Okay. It's the tail that I'm doing. You see how that tail looks? See how my tail looks? It's it's too big. Something got out of whack. I messed it up. I don't know what I did wrong. I'm so upset. I don't know how to fix this. I don't think you can fix it. I think it's done for. Maybe I gotta pull in these, um... Maybe I gotta do this. Oh. You know what? That is what I have to do. I think it's like this. Right? No, that ain't right. That's not right. Okay, wait a minute. Come, come, come. Ah, dang it! Just filling it back in now. Okay. Something's not... Something's not working. Okay, now the tail looks correct. Is it like this? No, that's not right either. Oh, son of a gun. Oh my gosh, you're doing it all wrong. What do I do? It's so broken. Oh my gosh, I am so fed up with this. I hate this pond. Oh. M. G. Stop putting this in the wrong spot. Okay. Now it's off center from our river. It's not supposed to be. This is three tiles. One. Two. And three. It's supposed to be four tiles like this. Boom. So that means this diagonal, this whole diagonal here has to move in, but then that somehow screws up the tail. Make his back lower and his head taller. How did the head get so messed up? Do you see that? Even if I make the adjustments to the... I must have counted it wrong. Because I think... Yeah. I think I counted something wrong. This is this is completely I got to start over. You need to bring the 5 across down. I don't know what that means. You're just making you're just making stuff up. This is, this is the worst duck I've ever made. This is the worst. I hate this. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I have to start it over. I'm so upset. It took, it took like 10 minutes to do this. Yeah, that waterfall thing really screwed me up. It has potential. It has the potential to get completely erased, is what I what it has. That's what's happening right now.
Nope, it's done. It's done, and there's no going back. What a what a bad idea making a duck pond. Why did I let you guys convince me to do this? Look how frustrated I am. I hate this. Terrible. What an awful, awful way to start my weekend. I just wanted to have fun. But no. I had to make a duck pond ruin my whole island. It's not good. It's not good. It's terrible. You know what's good? Regular ponds. Regular ponds are good. You know what's good? Cherry ice cream. That's what's good. You know what's not good? Duck ponds! Duck ponds aren't good. Kittens are good. I like kittens. Puppies? Puppies are good. Duck ponds? Bad news. Bad news. Terrible. Terrible idea. Worst. Worst pond. 2023 says consumer reports. Wow. I can't believe we plucked up that bad. Unbelievable. Okay, now. Here's what we need to do. Let's try this again. But this time, we're going to learn how to count. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with these four tiles down here. We're not worried about the waterfall. Pretend the waterfall is not a thing we're doing. Pretend it doesn't exist. Hey, a balloon. I know it'll cheer me up. Popping a balloon without a slingshot always cheers me up. Okay. Here we go. We're counting it out. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One. Two, three, four, five. Round the edges as you go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that this time. One, and two, and three. This still looks pretty jacked up to me, but hopefully we get it right this time. One, two, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come in one, two, three. All right, and then and then one. That's supposedly a duck pond. Now we have to get it to look like this. Okay. Like that. Well, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So, you said to, to round the edges as, from the, as we go, right? So we can... No! That's not what I wanted. It doesn't matter, but it's so annoying that it would do something I didn't want it to do. Okay, let's get rid of that. And that. Son of a gun! You've got to be kidding me. I AJ? Why is this happening to me? Okay, there's the there's the butt. One duck butt. Done. Okay. Now. I how I don't know how the tail works. I'll come back to that. Okay, there's, there's the front of the duck. All right. And then we'll... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's part of the process. 
It's part of the process. What does this tiger beetle think it's doing? Perfect. Okay, next. How do we do the stupid duck face? Because it's not, something's not right about it. It feels like, it feels like the duck face is kind of ducked up. Like I gotta come in here and like carve out the face first. How did they make this pond? I bet you if I tried to do this without the diagram, I would be more successful. Because the diagram is stressing me out. The be breaths? No. No, redhead, let me feel my feelings. How how dare you give me money to try and cheer me up? I need to I need to feel my feelings. And right now that feeling is just pure rage. I think this is how we do it. Okay, that looks mm, borked. Something's something's not right. You know what it is? Your diagram is a liar. I followed the little numbered diagram, and now I got this duck with no neck. But in reality, I'm supposed to have this come down here. I think that's my problem. It's just one square for the bill. Oh, you're right. Crap. Why is the, why is this all jacked up? Yeah, this is all messed up. Oh my gosh. I hate this duck so much. I never want to see this again. Like when we finish this, I better never see it again. Okay, the, the, the duck, yeah, the duck's head looks right now. But something's not right about the tail. It's completely messed up. This is like, something's not right. Yeah, I am doing it from the picture now. That does seem to be helping a little bit. Let me, let me pull, pull this in too. Okay, 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 okay. And then we gotta we gotta angle this piece. Okay, that's almost the tail. Except, here's the problem. I'm once again dealing with this pro this part right here not being four tiles wide. It's starting to look like the picture. But then it screws up my river. So you know what? I am going to put this somewhere else. We're going to do a different design for this because this is getting to a point now where I'm actually legitimately getting annoyed with it. <laughs> so I don't want to do anymore. I'm going to move this to like by the campsite or something where it can just be a cute pond in the middle of some grass and not be part of some other bigger project. Because I can't get this right and I'm not going to try anymore. Sometimes you just gotta know when to step away from something. So rip, rip for real this time, Duck Pond. Good riddance. And you stink too. You know, don't be sorry, Redhead. This is AJ's fault. You were just trying to help. AJ and Kato are trying to ruin my island. They're just jealous because I'm better at hard mode than them. Just because they're good designers doesn't mean I can't be good at something too. They're just trying to sabotage. It's okay. I don't take it personally. It's, it's just, you know, it's the business we're in. I think my biggest regret is terraforming all this out when now I want to scale it back. 
<laughs> I sent you help. Oh, thank you. Let's see. It's just a sign that says get owned, noob. What do you mean? How is this helpful? AJ, that's so rude. I can't believe you just send this to me in my in my time of frustration. Yes, you. What do you mean Kato? Kato's like me? Acting all innocent. I'm just going to scale this cliff back. I had nothing to do with the duck. I think you put AJ up to it. I think the peer pressure of being mean to me has made it so AJ has had to go out of her way to be mean to me. And I blame, I blame you for that. No, AJ liter liter literally did send uh, some help, but uh, I am still going to move the pond somewhere else. I was starting to have regrets because of how big the pond got. So I'm going to go with my gut, and we're going we're gonna to scale this cliff back a little bit. I actually think having, like, I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to it. Hartman's really creating enemies out of friends. Wild. Kind of want to make a duck pond now. Just be careful, Lizzie. It can really destroy a lot of lives. Take it from someone who knows. Duck ponds are not to be trifled with. Last time I tried to make a duck pond, I lost like two friends. It was terrible. It looks like a two-year-old's doodle, <laughs> but you get the idea of the shape. No, I get it. A lot of ducks were lost. And ponds. Yeah, they don't call it hard mode for nothing. You gotta have the stomach for it, that's for sure. How many balloons are gonna fly over this spot today? What's going on? Where even is it? How do I... I think it's up here. Oh, come on! Okay, just be patient. We were friends? Yeah, maybe you should have appreciated it more. There we go. Oh, stupid slingshot. Now I, I'm just gonna buy one. I think I can buy one. Banished from the duck pond club. Yep. I've revoked your memberships. The souls of the duck ponds wanting to be set free. <laughs> oh, man. It's okay. Everything's fine. You're going to start a yacht club? What the heck? Can I be in the yacht club? Your tips help me so much in Animal Crossing. I Now I know you're not talking about me. No actual ducks harmed in the destruction of this duck pond. <laughs> I mean, the night is young. You never know. Yacht Club. Oh, hey, chow. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'm really bad about watching streams. Pick up the present. What present? I was eyeing that present. I don't see any present. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Chav will eat it. 
What? I'm glad we're scaling back this cliff. It did get it did get ridiculously big. I didn't want it to be because I didn't know what I was gonna put around it. Like I, I was not planning on that for my when I was planning on my infrastructure. I don't see a present. Yeah, there there is no present. There is no present present. I don't know what I'm gonna, what the final version of this cliff is gonna look like, but I can tell you that I still have a lot of terraforming to do. Was hard mode hard enough before the duck pond? Yes. Yes, one thousand percent. Okay. I need to decide how far, because now I'm getting into like the old cliff area. How much do I want to leave here? Maybe I should get rid of this rock. Let's smash this rock. Okay. Pick up these flowers. I think I want to leave a little bit of this cliff, but not too much. I think I'm going to scale it back a little bit. Let's pick up this tree. No more ducks today? We'll see. I, I don't know. Maybe. I, we'll, we'll see. I think we're going to put the duck pond next to the campsite, and I think we'll end up doing the campsite part tomorrow. Favorite TV show. This live stream, of course. I don't know. Um, I like I like a good amount of TV. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, let's see. If I let's leave like this much of the cliff. Uh, well, now I'm looking at it. Maybe a little bit more. I'll leave a little bit more of the cliff. Okay. So, how about... Like that. And then we'll probably... Row a corner piece right there. I could put some cool little thing on that. All right, there we go. Should make a duck cafe. Hmm, that could be fun. Comedy horror. That would be the. That'd be the genre my TV show would fall into? Comedy horror? What is that? You can't, you're just making up genres now? You can't think of anything else I could fit into? Comedy horror. That's even hard to say. You're gonna saddle me with that? Unbelievable. I'm sitting here providing quality cliff rants. I get comedy horror. You know how careful I have to say? I have to say the word horror so carefully so I don't get demonetized by YouTube's AI. It's not fair that you would just throw me into that category. To be fair, the fate of the duck pond was kind of comedy horror. Look, be that as it may, that shouldn't that shouldn't just saddle me with that for the rest of my life. So 
Very much vibes a couple days ago. So glad I could join live now. Savannah, you picked a great day. Great day to be here live. Everyone is happy and no one's yelling at anybody. So it's really the perfect time to be here. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Documentary. Here we have Just Dan in their natural habitat on Canyon Duck. Canyon Duck is a horror comedy island. And uh, Dan will be remembered as Just Dan. The end. We can't tell any more of the story because, you know, we'll be at risk of remembering more about him. Oh, I was going to put a little pond here. Now what am I doing? Oh my gosh. Let's put like a little pond up here. Let's not go nuts though. Let's just... We're going to try this whole thing again. Okay. I can't believe we just spent like 45 minutes doing this. And, and just to get back to square one. Okay, so there's four. Let's go six. Okay. I actually have kind of an idea. I want to see how this looks. I have a terraforming idea. You guys are going to be like, whoa! It's going to be crazy. Just watch. Just get your woes ready. Once you see me, once this is finished, once you see it, you're going to be like, Wow, Dan is real smart. We should not have made fun of him so much. Y'all are gonna feel real embarrassed. I better get some some letters that explain how sorry you guys are after I show you how cool this idea is and then you regret all of your decisions to make fun of me. Whoa, no, too early. I'm not done yet, Kato. No, AJ, no, see, I knew you were colluding. I'm not done, you know You know I'm not done yet. Whoa, no, stop saying whoa. It's too early to say, everyone stop saying whoa right now. I'm not finished, now I feel like you're just patronizing me. Unbelievable, I haven't even done the thing yet. My goodness. All I wanted to do was show everybody something cool and now you're just making fun of me. How dare you? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You should all be embarrassed. <sighs> Whatever. I'm just going to I'm just going to do it. Now you guys, I'm You know what? I'm going to do it and you guys don't get to see. That's that's right. You wanted to make fun of me. So there. Now you don't get to know how this is going to look. You're just going to have to be sitting there going, I bet that was a real cool design and we're never going to know what it looks like because we were jerks. That'll learn us. Yep. Wow, this is looking so good. Oh, man. I bet everyone would like to see what this looks like. It's pretty cool. Wow, I can't believe it's coming out so good. Dang. Oh, I bet everyone's regretting their decisions right now. I messed it up. I had to start over. I need more space, it turns out. I'm going to give myself a little more space. He just dug a hole. No, I did some math and I messed it up. Turns out I'm not really good at this. But just wait. Once it's done, you're going to think you're at like Epcot or something. I pressed enter on my woe too early. Yeah, you did. Okay. All right. It's going to look good. This is going to look real good, probably. Here's the plan, okay? Gonna... Something like this. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Something like this? Yes, yes, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I need more room. 
Baby duck pond? No, uh, no, no duck pond. Just regular, regular old pond. Okay, all right. All right. Cliffs. I think I need... No, this will work. This will work. Uh, okay, we'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Egg pond. No, it's not an egg pond. That's a good idea, but it's not what it is. It's a circle. I've never seen that before. Just wait. Just give me a chance. I haven't finished it yet. It's going to be a while before it's finished, but when it's done, you're going to be impressed. You're going to be like, okay, that's a pretty nice circle. Because I'm going to do something to it. You're going to be like, dang. I, I have regrets. I really should not have doubted this man's building abilities. They're pretty solid. He's pretty cool. And he's, you know, a pretty nice guy, too. Ooh, this isn't going to work. Hold on. I got to think of Hold on. I got to think of a plan here. I messed it up. No, I think this will work. Eh. Yeah, let's try. Mm, now it's going to look like an egg, though. Maybe it will be an egg pond. I didn't want an egg pond. I messed up my own design. I bamboozled myself this time. Let me think about this. How am I going to do this? Should it be an egg? What if it was an egg? Do you think I think it would look good? Yeah, what if it was an egg? I'm going to take credit for this. Okay. Okay, that'll be the waterfall. And I'm going to need to give myself a way to get out. Crud. Okay, all right, all right, back up, back up. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And one more. Okay. Mm, okay, we're almost there. Let's get these uh, corners rounded off. What? No! That's what I... That was the whole thing that was going to make the design. Oh, no. Dang it. I am going to scream. Now it's just a stupid pond. Uh, what I was going to do was I was going to have the pond stick out of the cliff. I thought what I would... Mm, well, wait. Hold on. Maybe I can still do it. I need it needs a longer neck for this illusion to kind of work. Not really an illusion. Dang it. I was going to have a deliberate like gap here and make the cliff like stick out a certain way. I thought it was going to look really cool. Now it's just a stupid regular old boring pond. Let's see. Does it look does it at least look good as a boring pond? Okay. What was that the wow moment? It was supposed to be I, I just didn't I didn't drag it out enough. And now I'm too lazy to do all that work. Plus, the cliff is like coming out way farther than I wanted it to. Here, let's Let's just save the woe moment for a little bit later when I have uh, the rest of this infrastructure figured out wow sh shut up quit making fun of me can't you see i'm suffering enough kind of looks like a toilet thanks amy
Thanks. Unbelievable. Everyone's mean to me. You're welcome. <laughs> Pick up my shrubs and go home. Whatever, shrubs. Live your life. Fine. I'm going to put them over here. I wish there was an easier way to plant the shrubs. I don't know how. I just want to somehow put them in a straight row without having to get out of my inventory every time. Do I want to break? No, I have way too much to do. I can't let a bunch of chat bullies stop me from doing my work. We have to figure out the uh, the staircases and stuff. There's still like a lot of stuff to figure out. So I'm gonna leave the pond where it is. How many spaces do I have left? One? Oh my gosh. Here, where's Flick? I have a couple bugs I can sell. He was over here. Flick? Where is he? Oh, man. Put the toy duck in the center of the pond. I would love to, but the pond can't have a center because it's an, it's an even number of tiles. My work here is done. I must head to bed. Oh, AJ had to leave. Bye, AJ. <sighs> okay. Everything's fine. Here's what I need to figure out. I need to figure out my paths. So... I've been doing a four-wide path for a lot of the town. And the way I'm thinking this could work... Well... Let's see. Let me line this up here. I'm thinking the path will be four wide until it narrows down to two wide. So, hypothetically, it could start right here. And that would line up with the path we have on the cliff. Right? Yeah. It does a... So it does one thing. It You know, it lines up with the paths nicely. And I like that. But it also does another thing. It kind of ruins the potential of having a cool little canal street. Which is what I thought I was going to get. But based on the placement of my all of my paths in this river, we're not going to get that. Maybe that's okay. Maybe there's another opportunity to use the extra space between the path and the river to do something else kind of cool. Maybe something no one's done before. I don't know. Let's just, like, start heading this way with it and see what happens. Yeah, I want I want to do stuff around the pond. I think the pond sticking out like that's kind of cool. I knew this lopsided snowman would get in my way. I knew it would. I just knew it. Have 
you considered a duck-shaped pond? I swear. Everyone's a comedian today. Everyone thinks they're so funny. Coming in here. Coming in here to try and trigger me. Consider a duck pond. Whatever. I'll make the duck pond tomorrow. The duck-shaped pond. Whoa. Stop it. Everyone's being so mean to me. What is... Where is this coming from? I thought... I thought y'all were cool. But no. They were just a... Jerk. Whatever. You know what? It's fine. I don't care. Just whatever. Can't you see I have enough to deal with? I got... I got snowmen. Just putting their fat, stupid faces in my dumb way. I got... I got canals that don't line up with the paths. I'm innocent because I'm trying to come with an entrance for Bunny Cove. Well, I'm sure it's going to look fantastic. Hey, why don't you make a bunny pond? <sighs> what could possibly go wrong? Okay, so what would I do with this space next to this river? What is this space for? There's a lot of space here. You don't have to rage at me. I'm just joking. I'm sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. It's everybody else. I'm going to blame everyone else for making me take my anger out on, on innocent bystanders. Also, it sounds kind of like a cool idea. You got to admit. A bunny pond does sound pretty adorable. A cafe? I don't want to make a cafe. What else can I do? Original Matt, feel better. I'm so sorry to see you uh, not feeling well. Hopefully, hopefully tomorrow you're feeling a bit better. Hard mode changed Dan. <laughs> a flea market or other shops? Ooh, okay, okay. A bike rental shack? Okay, I like these ideas. Because I already have an idea for that side, so I definitely need an idea for this side. We could put the market here. The sun yeah, the Sunday market could go here. I don't know how that would look exactly, but what? A layered polo shirt? For what reason? This is hard mode, dude. I can't wear this. At least I talked to three villagers. <laughs> Our duck asking to leave. That would be my luck. That would be my ducking luck. All right, where's this one gonna go? So I have to... Oh, ooh. You see what I see? It, it's um... It's Nooks. Nooks is in the way of my path. But I think it could work. Give me uh, one second. Okay, so I think I know what, what I did wrong and what I'm going to do to fix it. Um, what I did wrong is nothing, and what I'm going to do to fix it is also nothing. Uh, because I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about my secret plan. So what I was thinking for this spot was a bus stop. I thought this would be a perfect place for a bus stop. So that would go here. Then, there would be a path that goes around the bus stop. And that would be... You know what, Tree? If you're going to sit there and get in my way... Could you at least do it somewhere else? Like in tree hell? Okay, that's gone. So there'd be a path that goes up and winds around the bus stop here. 
And then this is how you would get to the campsite. And or that path leading up to this neighborhood here. So that's that's kind of my plan. I just, for a second, I thought the paths would line up symmetrically. That's not going to happen. Ah, my pockets are full too. Anyway, I think it's a good idea. I think it's a pretty good plan. You need ducking therapy respectfully. <laughs> what? Listen, if you had to deal with all the trees getting in the way like I had to, you would snap sometimes too. It's not even that. It's it's you guys. It's not the tree. It, it's you. You did this. You all made fun of me. And now I'm lashing out. So I don't know what to tell you. It's not even all of you, by the way. Just a just a handful. Handful of meanies. Come in here. Making fun of me. Anyway, so bus stop. Uh, so yeah, I thought a bus stop here would be really cool. And the bus stop's going to serve a very important function. It's going to be for fast travel. I'm pretty excited about it. I even think I know where the other stop's going to go. Um, so what I need to do is figure out that path before we do anything else. Oh, let me use a different path for this bus stop. So if the bus stop went here, pretend this is one of those bus stops. That would leave us with enough room to do a little narrow two wide path over here and leave a space between that and the, uh, the river. I saw a balloon. Cleo, you could say it's getting out of flipper. No, that's a bad one. Composer Cleo's here, everybody. I was telling everybody that um, if they want that song on Spotify, they gotta they gotta make sure they go subscribe to your channel and become a channel member. And uh, I also said the next time you're streaming, they need to give you lots and lots of super chats. And then maybe you'll think about possibly putting the Canyon Duck song on Spotify, maybe. But yeah, subscribe to Composer Cleo. Please. I don't know when I want this path to take that right turn over to here, but I do know that we need the four wide path to start coming down, so... Let's do that. Let's try and measure out. Where did I start that? Okay. So, okay. That path starts right at this tile here. Let's see. Oops. Uh, okay. This one goes away. Thoughts on snow IRL. I like snow IRL a lot more than I like it in Animal Crossing, but I like the snow in Animal Crossing too. I don't hate it. Okay, so this path would come down here. Got it. Oh, dang it. I cannot wait for this museum to be moved tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's really messing up the whole thing I'm trying to do. I got a lot of terraforming I need to decide on, and the museum being in my way is not helpful to that end. Anyway, so yeah, the four wide path will come down, museum will be gone, um, we'll figure all that out. But there'll be a path coming off of this one, going this way. And this is where we're going to get into, like, campsite land. Campsite land's going to be in here. This was the last big terraforming project um, that I wanted to do. There's going to be other little tiny terraforming things I need to do, obviously, to sculpt out some stuff. Um, but, yeah, this this is, like, the part I was saving for last, the very center of the island. 
easy just time travel no one will know we can keep it a secret it's actually within the rules of hard mode i can time travel within a seven day period but i just don't i don't do that it'll be tomorrow before you guys know it i'll be streaming again and the museum will be gone and we can continue working on it but for now i'm gonna i'm gonna consider this middle portion i think what i would like to do is actually settle on part of this that's going to be completely filled in and that's going to start where hmm Maybe it'll start. I mean, here for sure. Yeah. Just one day forward. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. What time will, be stream will I be streaming tomorrow? Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow around 12.30 or 1 o'clock Eastern time. Somewhere around there. That's what I'm saying. It could be tomorrow. And today, again, no one would know. I, I would know. I would know. Oops. Does the time travel seven period, seven day period restart every new day? I don't really know. I haven't bothered to ask either because I'm not, I'm not really a time traveler of sorts. How close am I to resident services, by the way? Um, I might, well, let me look at the map. I might pull this in a little bit. This is hard. How do I determine the shape of this? Let's try and naturalize it a little bit. We'll pull the, oh, geez. We'll pull this in. So it's going to start to like come back a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll come back here. And then let's come back another one. And then we got to consider this side. Now this is this is like my like by my home here. So we have to like have this out to this point, but then uh, how do I like smooth it out? I gotta figure that out too. <gasps> what is this? Oh my gosh. Is that a No way. It is That is, wow. That is a nice branch. To. Here we go. <laughs> I found the nice branch. Wait, you all like composer Cleo so much? I thought you'd want to hear more composer Cleo music. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I don't understand. Why is everyone freaking out? How does one acquire such an object? Well, good question uh you see the nice branch is acquired via um nice branch recipe we want a duck pond i'll leave room for a duck pond everyone just just chill out about the duck pond there'll be a duck pond don't worry i'm not gonna let you down never gonna turn around to desert you duck pond Never gonna make you cry. We're gonna say goodbye to the duck pond, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera.
That seems like a pretty good little alcove we made for the uh, campsite slash duck pond. I think this is fine. Yeah, I think this will work. Oh, look. We got a balloon. I can't see it. Crap. That would have been awesome if I had hit it. Where is it? Redhead, thank you for the super. Did I just Rick roll you? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. I think this this is a pretty natural looking ish canyon. I think the campsite can go back here. And I think the duck pond has plenty of space to exist somewhere in this area, somewhere over here. And we could put lots of trees, all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be great. Saigon Girl, how's it going? Now there's no getting that song out of my head. Here, I will help you. Now that's stuck in your head. Have mercy. <laughs> I feel better. <laughs> Again, no, we can't overplay the duck song. What would that even sound like? <laughs> Your niece came running from the other room. <laughs> It's just as hard when overplayed. <laughs> just play it really quietly the entire stream. I don't have like a four hour version of it. Is Cleo still here? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. That's too much. That, that would start to get to me. I, I uh, don't think I can get enough of that song. Song needs to hit TikTok. I thought about it. I have the, uh, the vertical version that I used for the YouTube short. And I thought about putting it on TikTok. I think it would really confuse the people who've started following me over there because I've been doing those AI shorts where I, I take Animal Crossing characters and destroy them with AI. It'd be very different for that crowd. I don't know, would they like it? Maybe, they might. I think I should do it for Composer Cleo. That's what I should do. I shouldn't worry about me. 
TikTok also forgets pretty quick. So even if they were like, what the heck is this? I thought this was the AI person. They'd probably forget pretty quick. They better like it. I yeah, I guess they think they would like it. It's not, not that they wouldn't like it. It's that they would be like, I don't know what this channel's about. What is this place? I guess it's not too dissimilar from this channel. All right, fine. I'll do it. Later, though. I'm busy. I do feel like it is in more context on YouTube. Like, is the Animal Crossing community on TikTok even aware of hard mode? Put on a duck AI video. I think, did I do that for one of them? I think I did. Make an explanation video to show them what your channel's about. I guess I could. They're not going to see it, though, because the algorithm is very <laughs> stingy over there. I replaced the Rick roll with the duck roll. Oh, replace the Rick roll with the duck roll. <laughs> They bring new subs. Hopefully to Cleo, not to me. The shadow command's broken? Well, I didn't do it. Why brings Bane? Why are you accusing me? I'm just as upset as you are. Jeez. Why is everyone attacking me today? Well, you can click on Cleo's name in the description. That'll get you there. I don't have access to Nightbot. I think that command is built in. I don't think I have any access to uh, actually, like, do anything about it being broken. <laughs> you know, uh, no, no, Nightbot's working. Yeah, no, it's working. It's working for me. I can see it. But I see it. It's right there, Bringsbane. Go check out Composer Cleo, and the link is there. Oh, never mind. What? <laughs> yeah, everyone else can see it, Brings Bane. I don't understand, Brings Bane. You weren't here earlier. And just because you weren't here, everyone, like, piled on me. It was crazy. You've never seen a more rowdy chat. Everyone was being the meanest to me. Like, the meanest. And now everyone's settled down conveniently just in time for you to get here. There's, like, all these culprits, and I can't be bothered to remember their names. So what are we going to do? They're, like, hiding among us. What are we supposed to do now? Retroactive hammers. Yeah, I would love that, but I don't know who it was. It was just, it was a mess. It was a bloodbath. Everybody came in here. I was going to do something cool. I was going to do something cool. And I told them, just wait. You guys are going to be like, wow. And then before I did it, they were like, wow. And they made fun of me. And I've been sitting here trying to hold back tears for like the last hour because I felt really attacked. And then, and then I made a duck pond and it wasn't coming out good. And they all made fun of me for that. And that hurt my feelings a lot. And then... Um, they accused me of rickrolling them, which was just really weird and uncalled for. And then when Composer Cleo got here, they all embarrassed me in front of my friend Composer Cleo. I need names. It was them. I don't know. It was just them. It just, just ban wall. I don't care. When Kato was here earlier, she came to my island and took my money from me. Hit me with a net. Nearly took my head off. It's been a really hard day. It was a really, it's a really bad, it was a really bad day for you to like come in late, you know? I thought I could handle it, but I can't. I just can't. Am I hangry? <laughs> you're not yourself, Dan, when you're hungry. I can't even eat a Snickers because too much crap in it.
Sounds like it's Bringsbane's fault for being late. That's what I'm saying. Dan, you're not you when you're hungry. Yeah, and earlier they, they all decided what my tombstone was going to say, which was really dark and weird. Yeah, they told they said that I'm just going to be known as Just Dan. How rude is that? And then you got people asking how much longer I'm going to stream because they're tired of watching. Like they don't have free will or something. It's just been, it's been a rough day. I missed. I got balloons trolling me now. Oh, not that shovel. Wrong shovel. Stream as long as you want to stream. They're not making it very easy. Are you hoarding those gifts for the Sunday market? I don't have a lot of inventory space, so I'm just leaving them for now. Oops. I've been so busy having to shout at people that I've barely touched my coffee, which is a crime. It all started with Kato and her money. Yeah, it was a pretty normal stream until it was interrupted by Kato. That's right. Everyone was pretty well behaved until Kato came around. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop hanging out with these people. Other Animal Crossing creators, it's a, it's just a mess. It's just giving me all kinds of trouble. I could open them and drop them again, but then you guys would know what's inside. Okay. Does this look good? Let me just smooth out all these corners here. Let's see if this looks any good at all. Whoa! Sunshine Donna gifting five memberships. Thank you. You definitely shouldn't encourage me. Let's see, Angela got one, Amy got one, Sue's got one, uh, Lena, or Le Leanna? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, everyone's name. Pokemon Ranger Denise got one, look at that. Thanks everybody. Thank you, Sunshine Donna, for your very generous gift of memberships. Enjoy your emotes, everybody. Enjoy the, enjoy the ones we have while you can, because they're about to change forever. We're doing an emote overhaul, and maybe sometime next week. I'm not gonna promise that because I don't. I don't want to. I'm not gonna rush the artist or anything. But yeah, sometime soon, we're getting some new emotes. This cliff looks pretty good. Maddie, Caddy, how's it going? Anne Marie, how's it going? Mandy, how's it going? Um, yeah. Happy Friday to you, too. Well, I appreciate the gifted memberships. I don't think I deserve them. <gasps> Uh-oh. Someone has a thought bubble. I'm supposed to interact with those. It's just Rory. What is it? Go. Will you move away? Sometimes I just feel like hanging out at home and chatting with a good buddy. What do you think? Want to stop by? I can't. Bringsbane gifting five memberships. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Bringsbane. Jen got one. Melanie got one. Anne Marie got one. Sul Sulmo got one. Is that a Sims reference? And Julia got one. Enjoy your emotes and also uh, enjoy the New Leaf content. The members only New Leaf streams. I've done two of those so far. You can find them on the channel if you're a member. That's a lot of new members. 
there's another Emperor Butterfly. These things are worth a lot, and Flick is here, so I definitely need to catch this. Oh, dang it. Yes. Okay, let me look at the map. I think this map is looking pretty good. I'm liking this map. What I'm going to do is continue building out the canyon next to my um, house. You know, my, my property there. But I think the main, like, the first layer of cliffs is pretty much final at this point. We gotta, we just gotta touch up around the pond that we made. I like this map a lot. And it, the map is gonna be very traversable, too. I'm gonna have, like, a lot of staircases and things like that. It's gonna be pretty easy to, like, walk around this island. Let's see. Um, I think what we need to do is this. Oops. Not that. Not that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I still... I'm trying to get it right here. There we go. Staircase. Planned. And then we'll bring this out. You want more than 10 inclines? 10 has been a good number. Eight, eight was kind of dumb. Like I, I ran out of, uh, or I didn't run out. I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I ran out of options pretty quick with eight. Uh, but 10 has worked for me pretty well. Yeah, more is always better. But I'm actually okay with 10, which is, you know, surprising. I know the, the thing you're supposed to do is get angry that there's not enough stuff in the game, but... I, I'm I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be okay. Whatever I do on this side, I'm gonna copy on the other side. So I'm just kind of sculpting this now how I want to see it in its finished form. Um, so the staircase would basically come up right here, and I'm trying to decide: should I make some little cliff around it? Like, should I do something like this? And, and make it in its own little, like, alcove thing? Or should I just let it hang out? Let's see what this looks like. So, it could do this, and the staircase would go right there. Or I could let it kind of hang out. What do you think? I think this is a nice little corner to decorate in. Like, I could put some cool little knickknacks and paddywhacks in here. And then I could do the same thing over here. Could add some ducks. Could add some ducks. Tuck it in. Okay. Let's do that then. Melanie, thank you for the super. Appreciate you. Look at that. Everyone's like giving me supers now. What are y'all planning? Is this a scheme of some kind? Are you guys going to be mean to me soon? Or is this just out of pure kindness? Something like this. That looks kind of neat, right? Maybe. Let's see. Neato burrito. I'll take it. Let's see. Uh, yeah. 
so there's the staircase, and we got like a little cliff thing here. Mm hmm And then we we have this on this side as well. Yeah. How's it look on the map? That's all that really matters. <laughs> pretty uh pretty good. Mm-hmm. You're too freaking cool. You're freezing up my stream. How could you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Do you guys like all this? Is this doing the trick, as they say? I think it is. I think it was pretty swell. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I think we're making some good choices. Okay, great. Cool. I think I'm going to make a bridge. What? I got one humdinger of a reaction for you. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's that little some bewilderment one. Okay, cool. I'm going to make a bridge. I'm going to put a bridge right over here. Which one should I use? I We were talking about using the rope bridge everywhere. And I use this by the entrance because the entrance is supposed to be like fancier. But I like this bridge. What do you think? Should I use the little rope bridge? It, it would fit the aesthetic I'm going for, I think. If I just was overusing that bridge. Blue bridge? I don't like the blue bridge. I wish I could make it different colors. I'd like it a lot more if I could make it different colors. Infrastructure. You stole my eyebrows. I ain't need no eyebrows. Uh, bridges and inclines. Bridge. This one, the suspension bridge. This is the one we were talking about using like everywhere. Um, I really don't think, yeah, I think this is probably good, especially with using the, um, dirt paths everywhere. I think this is good. You should use the plank bridge. This is, yeah, hopefully we're talking about the same one. The brick bridge could work for the whole island, but it's also very expensive. <laughs> Suspension does, does look like a duck bridge. Start a poll? I think I might want to just make this decision. I do like the rope bridge. The only other bridge I would do is probably this one. Because the wooden bridge is like, to me, it looks way too modern. So I would think if I were to do a poll, I would probably say between brick and suspension. We'll do a poll, but I'm I'm personally leaning towards suspension. So I might choose it anyway, but I'll just see what you all think. Maybe if... If enough people hate the idea. So which bridge should I bridge? I guess that gets the point across. Suspension brick. Okay. So here is suspension. And remember, I'm kind of sticking with dirt paths everywhere too and like you know, real like country looking kind of place. But the but the brick one would work still. It's a good bridge. It's a pretty good bridge. I think you're all choosing suspension because I, I said I wanted it. Which I appreciate, but you can be honest. It's an underrated bridge, go for it. That's a lot of votes for uh suspension it could if, if enough people turned around and started voting on this poll in chat right now and they wanted to foil me and do brick you could still turn it around there's enough people watching to where this poll could flip on its head but i i think i before that happens i might just get the suspension bridge stop it no i see you changing the votes stop it right now 
I'm just staring at this pole. I, mm, mm. Whichever makes you happy. Well, the suspension bridge makes me happy, but I just, I would like some input. Now I just feel like I'm being trolled. Okay, suspension it is. I'm going to just pull out of here. It's too dangerous. I voted brick. Yeah, I knew it. Composer Cleo's in here just trying to sabotage. Composer Cleo, I'm sitting here telling everyone to go visit your channel and pay you all the money they have in their bank accounts. And that's how you're going to... What the heck? That's how you're going to repay me? I'm disappointed we didn't turn this around. <laughs> Whatever. This is a good bridge. It's very off center. What's happening? There we go. Let's imagine it together. I bet it's going to look nice and you'll all feel very bad. Look at that thing. I mean, come on. Have you not seen a more suspended bridge? Look at that. I could spend all my money on this right now and it still wouldn't be paid off. <laughs> Crap. Should I do it? I gotta figure out my money situation. Maybe it's the snow that's not doing it for me. It doesn't look great with the snow, but once we decorate and stuff, it's going to look real good. But the brick one would look good, too. It's not that the brick one wouldn't look good, but the suspension one is cheaper. Okay. Uh, I can't sell most of this stuff. Where's Flick? Do you have stars tonight? I do. If Kate were here, she'd tell you to make the claim. Wait, if Kate were here, she would make the claim that you probably just hate Brits. Is that, so is that what you're doing? Are you, are you here to, are you here to tell me I hate Brits? Do I like Tom Nook? I like making fun of Tom Nook. Where's Flick? I'm not replacing her. It kind of feels like you're trying to replace Kato. Hold on. We can figure this out with science. Is Cleo trying... Trying to replace Kato? Yes? No. All right, there. Go on. Share your opinions, everybody. Well, I'm going to look for Flick. You guys vote on that poll. All right. Where is Flick? somehow voted the brick one again. I knew it. You are trying to troll me. I sold the flick earlier today. How could he be gone? Flick! Good. I have some very expensive bugs to sell you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? On the yellow brick road? Oh my gosh. Sell. Alright, what we got? 14,250. Yes. That's pretty close to the price of this bridge now. Polls 50-50. Yeah. So 51% say yes, you're trying to replace Kato. And 49% say oh yeah, you're trying to replace Kato. Now it's 50-50. So everyone's pretty torn. But either way, we're all on to you.
Now I'm catching snowflakes because we need to pay off this bridge, and to do that we have to we have to make some money. And to do that, we can use snowflakes. Yeah, so I think we settled it. Um, scientifically speaking, uh, composer Cleo is trying to replace Kato, which begs the question, what happened to Kato? And what what does Cleo know? I'm not really concerned for anyone's safety in particular. I'm just kind of curious as to what happened. Whatever you tell me, I will I will assume is just, you know, a fact of life and move on. I won't feel many emotions. What do we got? Ooh, wait a minute. It's raining treasure. Oh! That's 100 balloons. So that means I am... Is it 200 or 300 that I need to pop? I think it's 300. So, yeah, I'm 200 away from the golden slingshot. Busy making bracelets. How many snowflakes is that? Four? Oh gosh. <laughs> uh alright. I'm just trying to pay off this bridge real quick. I'm having trouble moving on from it. Listen, I am a duck and Kate is probably an egg, and the duck came before the egg, I think. I don't know what's happening to Cleo right now. The the logic in that comment, very confusing. Um, I was having a pretty good night. I'm upset after reading that, like a little uncomfortable and very confused. <laughs> Someone help me pull something together. Usually, you're a pretty masterful wordsmith. I don't know what just happened, though. I mean, yeah, not many people can, can top Cleo when it comes to uh, saying something incredible. But I guess this is just the process, right? You just have to just have to try stuff, see what happens. Who would trauma up on an Animal Crossing live stream? You would be surprised. <laughs> I think some of the stuff we've seen is pretty innocuous. Like, people don't mean much by it. They're just having a bad day. Um, I don't think sometimes they realize what they're doing. But we put it as a rule just to, like, you know, just so we can point to something when someone does that. We can go, hey, you know, would love to help you, but not the place for it. Nice. Look at that. We got one large snowflake. We can put that away. I'm backed into a corner here. <laughs> Maybe I will rebrand the corner Kato. <laughs> you admit it. Uh, I don't even remember what I was doing right now. What are we doing? I think I was trying to sell some stuff. Naru, how's it going? Alexi, how's it going? Um, I understand. It just seems like a weird place to do that. It is a very weird place to do that. Let's sell some stuff. Let's make some money. You lost your game you haven't played in so long? That's not good. How are you supposed to play hard mode? Uh, frozen treat, frozen treat, frozen treat. Um, frozen treat. That's it. 25,000. Yes. Okay, that's definitely our bridge. Paid off. If I, if I offload all of these large snowflakes, 
I will have a ton of money. And I could get another one if I make another perfect snow person. Hmm. Taking donations? I just happen to have your donation right here. Yes. Donate! Okay, I'm, I'm very broke now, but this is good. Yes. Let's try and get us another large snowflake because apparently I'm going to need them. I'll push this out of the way. Do you guys remember where the heck our uh, snowball was? The little one. That's a nice snowball. It is. Oh, here it is. We found it. I'm going to roll it in slow motion. Pretend it's slow motion. Okay, now we just need these two to meet at the right time. All right. All right. And kiss. Dang it! Crap! Well, there goes our stupid large snowflake. Whatever. I got too excited. It was that dumb music. Cleo, why'd you do that? You can't... Just because I say I want a song that's going to make everyone question what the heck is going on my live stream doesn't mean you should actually make it. Look what happened. Look what happened when you made when you made more music for me. Now that I have this um, bridge, though, I can fi I can probably fill in this river. Don't bully Cleo. I'm sorry. Someone had to say it, though. Because I press play. Wow. <laughs> this must be how Kato feels. <laughs> you encouraged the behavior. That's why it's your fault. The duck song will make it better? Nope. I'm still mad. I want my large snowflake. I need the money right now. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna sell all of uh, all of these villagers' things. I think that'll make me feel a little bit better. I crafted all these things so I can sell them to the nooks. I'm going to slip into my Kato arc, and I didn't even know <laughs> until the stream. <laughs> I know, poor Cleo does not deserve this at all. I'm on a rampage, that's all. I'm just, I had plans, I had big plans for this stream. I had plans of all the cool things I was gonna build. I was so excited. And then all that stuff happened earlier. And now it's, it's whatever I can do to just stay sane. Whatever I can do. We should make some ladders. Or at least put down some vines temporarily until I get some stairs. How am I supposed to traverse this island without, like, stuff? Oh, we also need to make some staircases for this, too. I forgot. Um, let's plan that out. I think these staircases might have to stick out a little bit more. Well, they don't necessarily have to. Are you coffee deprived? No, I actually have quite a bit still. I 
I think we can put it. That's two. No, we need one more. Uh, no, I kind of like I, I I like the path being a little bit further out. So let's do this, and then let's pull this out a little bit. That should be fine. What kind of ramps do you guys think I should? Do you think I should use the ramps, or do you think I should put some stairs? I was thinking the wooden stairs over here, since it is like a neighborhood. It's supposed to have a little bit of, uh, you know, a better infrastructure. So that's what I was kind of thinking. There's gonna be some other places, opportunities for the natural uh, ramp. Why is Sherry thinking now? Can I just have a moment of peace where there's not like a balloon or a villager contemplating the mysteries of life? I think I did it again. I think I messed that up. Log stairs is kind of what I was thinking, you know. Psyched till we drop. Cheeky just ain't revving me up like it's supposed to. Why don't we try something else? Yeah, good thinking. If you got any ideas for a sick catchphrase. Oh boy. This is way too much power. Um, let's see. Log ramp? I don't think that's a very good catchphrase. But if you insist. All right. No. Crystallize wanted log ramp. So now Sherry says log ramp. You again, log ramp? Do you forget something? We tried, guys. We, you know, could have, could have had something pretty cool there, but log ramp's fine, I guess. How is this? This feels really mismatched. What happened here? Is this the same? No. She's a nice branch in her hand. Those are those are not the nice branches. How dare you? What? Your chat is lagging. Oh sure. Blame it on the chat. Haven't they had enough things blamed on them today? Listen, Crystallize, I was just trying to honor your suggestion. I thought, okay, we'll try it. And I didn't see anything better, because everyone, it's Sherry, everyone immediately started accusing Sherry of having pee hands again. Super mature, by the way. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of either log ramp or something really inappropriate. So, yeah. Lagging or logging? Oh my gosh. I'm going to take this tree that I scooped up earlier and put it back. Yeah, I guess banana hands would have been good, but... Nope. We're going with log ramp. Yes, these things... Tiger beetles are actually worth quite a bit. I'd make a log joke, but I don't think that would be a good idea. <sighs> Cleo's on thin ice today. Oh, I should, you know what I should do? I should, I should replant these um, trees. Yes. Let's replant, where am I gonna put them? I guess I'll put them down here. That snowboy does not want to stay spawned. Look at this. Why is it disappearing so early? Do you see that? Like, I'm not out of frame yet. You don't... Where are you going? And you forgot your shadow. What about this side? No, it stays on this side. 
You're gonna make Cleo leaf. Oh my gosh. What is happening right now? Where am I supposed to put these money trees? I'm gonna put them over here. I think this spot's done being terraformed for a minute. Plant. I'm honestly kind of tired of planting the money trees. Plant. Plant. Uh, okay. Plant. There. All right. What else? Uh, I'm trying to get my inventory a bit cleaned up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some stuff we were going to sell. Uh, I picked up all that other stuff from the other villagers. We're going to sell it. How come you can run with your net out at night for so long I take two steps and get attacked by vermin? <laughs> I'm kind of hoping I get attacked by like a tarantula or something because I could catch it and sell it. And they're worth quite a bit and Flick is here. Alright. 13,000 for all that junk. You are welcome, Crystal Eyes. I, I'm glad you enjoyed ruining one of my villagers and their catchphrase. Fortunately, it's the villager I definitely don't want to keep. <laughs> but that wouldn't stop me. I mean, it could be Bob, and I'd still, I'd still happily destroy his catchphrase. I can pick up these presents. Here, Flick, I have some garbage for you. Lance just joined, welcome. You're here at a good time. Yeah, I don't know what to do about my fossils. It's, it's pretty bad. I kind of just need storage, I think. Have I got any photos? I got Rory's photo. So Rory can now leave. Did I? I just biffed it. Dang it. Wasn't one of your villager catchphrases wet bread? No. One of my villagers catchphrases is wet bread. You think I would let him stop saying wet bread? Dom will always say wet bread. It's no matter how hard he tries not to say wet bread, I won't allow it. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to I'm going to drop some stuff. I gotta throw these away. Uh, I'm gonna throw this away. We got a lot of presents. Iceberg wall. I already know that, so I'm gonna toss that in the trash. Amp. Garbage. Thousand bells. Frozen fence. I already have it, so also garbage. What's the backstory on wet bread? Um, I think I was just in a funny mood. I wanted my villagers to say something. Like, whenever they asked me about their catchphrases, I always try to think of, like, gross things they could say. When I was... When I was a lot less mature, I used to make them say things that I think would get me banned on Nintendo Online. But nowadays, um, I just try and have them say really weird stuff. And so that's where Wet Bread came from. Not really the compelling backstory. Wet bread makes me uncomfortable. See, it works. Yeah, that's that's all I wanted. Oh, I was trying to put this in storage. Uh, oops. Storage. Storage. Dang it. All right. Sticks went there. That's good. That's good. Can I put these on the ground without displaying them? No. 
You know what we can do though? I just realized this. We're, we can put helmets and hats and stuff on the wall. Uh, no, from here. Yeah. Why didn't I do this sooner? Oops. Oh, that's perfect. This room is horrifying. You know what? You make fun, but I already have an S rank with the Happy Home Academy. <laughs> It's pretty bad. I, I don't know what to do about my storage situation. I think what I'm going to do is take some time to put all my clothing on the walls to try and, like, reclaim some of that space. Yeah, I got S rank for placing all that stuff in all my rooms. Every room is like this, too. Yep, here we are. <laughs> uh, I am going to grab my pipes, though. I have kind of missed these things. I need them. And let's see. Go here. Go here. Nice. It is a messy room. I wish Tom Nook would give me more storage. He only upgrades my storage by like 100 spaces every time I pay him all that money. I'm really hoping my next home loan gives me adequate space. Otherwise, I'm going to be I'm going to be mad. Like I'm going to be ripping mad. I want my house back. I want to like design the rooms in my house. It's really frustrating. <laughs> Uh, what are we doing? Evidence that HHA has no idea what they're talking about. Yes, correct. I just, I want to opt out. Let's make some money. Eight hundred after the next upgrade? Really? Okay, that'd be a pretty significant change because I think I'm at five hundred right now. You need to start selling those popsicles to get the basement and extra storage. They really broke into your house. And yeah, they would have to because the doors are blocked from all the stuff. They have to come in through a window. 1600 after you build your basement. Yeah, I remember the basement storage. Like, after the basement was finished, I remember feeling like my storage was really nice and big. I'm like, okay, I can manage with this. The reason I'm saving so much stuff is because it's hard mode and it's just going to be really hard to acquire things without being able to use Nookazan or anything like that. I'm almost at a large snowflakes, guys. Can you believe it? It's exciting. I could make the hot item, but it's the giant vine. Oh, we should look. Let's just see how much it costs us. I think I can only afford... Maybe one, if that. Nope. What am I doing? Horde mode. <laughs> it's 25 vines. I actually think I can afford this. Let's do it. How's the coffee? It's pretty good. Okay, now it's finished. <clears throat> uh, ooh. Is that? I think that's only enough for one, but that's okay. Let's do it. Giant vine. I hope this is worth a lot. I'm going to sell the giant vine by itself at first just to see what they give me for it. Uh, where's my pipe? So the pipes I got, I was talking about the bus stop, right? I was thinking of putting one of the bus stops back here somewhere. I wanted a quick route from my house 
to the store, but I wanted to like put it somewhere cool. For now, I'm gonna put it there. And then we'll go down here. And then this other one's gonna be here. Like there-ish. It should probably just be centered. I'm gonna be putting one of those old-timey looking bus stops in front of it. Oh wait, the nooks are gone? That's so disappointing. I didn't realize how late it was. I don't know if I want to sell these like this. 2400 that's it for the giant vine? I, I did the bell boom ordinance. I should have done the night one. Well, crap. At least we built our bridge. I saved the money to build the bridge. And that was good. I'm glad I did that. <sighs> Oops. Oops. Ciao. <laughs> Wearing sunglasses at night. Yep. Bum, 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 bum. Like that 80s song? Anybody? Fine, whatever. Never mind. Welp. I guess that's it. Catch more bugs for Flick. There's like no bugs in February. <sighs> We're going to be live tomorrow at... Probably 1230, 1 p.m. Eastern, somewhere in there. We'll, you know, we'll get some stuff done. We'll get some things done. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be swell. It's going to be great. Um, so I hope you'll join us for that. Um, I'm going to send you over to Artsy Gamer, who is playing Animal Crossing. Artsy Gamer, friend of the stream. Please, when you get over there, say hello. Um, Crossy Minute Raid, if you'd like. Subscribe if you enjoy Artsy's content. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow-ish. Tomorrow-ish. Sometime tomorrow. Fiona, thank you for the super. Appreciate you. Sometimes Fiona tries to sneak those in there when the streams end, so I can't say thanks. And I never understand why, but I do appreciate it. Even if I don't get to say thanks. Thank you. Um, all right, everybody. We're doing the raid. Enjoy yourselves. I'll catch you later. Be safe. See ya.